Good afternoon. I'm here in front of the Iridesc exhibit, and I'm joined by Erin Michkota, who has been the lead for the Iridesc project for the United Church and a joint project between the United Church and Affirm United. And Erin is here to tell us a bit about Iridesc. So Erin, can you start off? How did Iridesc come to be? Well, at the last General Council, commissioners voted to have a project of dialogue and sharing around the 1988 vote of a membership and ministry of gay and lesbian people. And so from that vote, or from that vote at the last General Council, um, the decision was made to go forward with this project. And then how did it start to take shape? And at what point did you, did you become involved with it? Oh, well, I remember a number of years ago, I received a pen from Mission and Service, and it said something like, God's world needs creative leaders. Mm. And I just remember responding to that pen, and I guess in, in a similar way, I responded to the advertisement that I saw for this, mm. for this project. Um, and when I looked at the qualifications, I said, that sounds like me, actually. Mm. I think I could do that. Um, so that's kind of how I got involved. Um, it started taking shape simply by listening to a lot of people, um, reading, doing a lot of reading on um, actually the truth and reconciliation um, work that the United Church had, had done, previous projects that the United Church had done around LGBTQ and Two-Spirit um, people in our, in our faith communities, and um, talking and sharing with a lot of people and kind of letting it form together very organically. So I was just taking a look at some of the banners behind us mm -hmm. before we started and, and one of them talks about or illustrates the number of conversations that were had, the number of volunteers, the number of kilometers traveled. So you have been all over the, the church over the past few years, um, helping to facilitate so many creative conversations um, and, and culminating in, in this presentation and in a play that we will see as part of General Council. So I wonder what for you has been the most surprising part of all of those conversations, all of those kilometers traveled? Oh, the most surprising thing has to be how generous people are. Mm. And I mean generous in a number of different ways. Um, for sure, many people have opened their homes to me to billet, um, which is very generous in that kind of regular way that we think but also that kind of generosity of spirit, mm -hmm. right? Of being open-minded, of being brave to share, um, that generosity in being present to listen to other people, mm -hmm. that is just so beautiful to be part of. And I guess maybe not a surprise, but it's just feels so good to encounter that over and over again. So I love that. So beautiful, yeah. So. In your th opinion, I mean, having listened to all of these conversations and facilitated so many meaningful interactions, how far have we come since 1988? Well, the United Church has done amazing work in so many um, areas of social justice mm -hmm. and inclusion and welcome. Um, one of our main, well, one song that many congregations sing is Draw the Circle Wide, right? And I think we do a really good job of that, actually. Mm -hmm. And part of drawing the circle wide is including more people to hear more stories. And so as we continue to draw the circle wide, we're going to need to continue to have these conversa have conversations with people, people we're going to disagree with, people who challenge us, people who um, are just like us, mm -hmm. celebrations, laments. So I think that this kind of a, a willingness to engage in, in a project like Iridesc is such a good sign of such a uh, an open, honest, brave church. Um, to me, it shows how far we've come as as a, as a communities of faith and as a larger um, church family. Just so encouraging, mm -hmm. yeah. And so, what about where we go from here? Um, Iridesc is being exhibited in this way and presented in a number of ways throughout General Council. Um, and then, and then, what happens after General Council with Iridesc? Well, I, I would hope that the number one thing that would come out of this project is that we, we look to the model that we have in Christ, that we look at how we encounter God through, through the life, ministry, and death and resurrection of Jesus. And we can look back and see how 
Jesus was such a friend to people that he encountered, right? He stood up for them. He stood with them. He listened. He shared. He was open to learning. And and I guess, you know, to root it back, root this project back to our faith story would be um, just so meaningful. And I, I really hope that, that the Iridesc project, um, you know, grounded in our, our larger faith story will be something that continues to expand the way that we're able to be friends with each other and do the kinds of things for each other that friends do, right? Listen, share, be there with each other and accompany each other on these journeys. Mm. So that's where I hope that the project goes, I mean, I guess in, a, in the ultimate sense. Yeah. Something that kind of gets embedded into our life and way of being. Exactly. Mm. Um, that's, that's really lovely, yeah. Um, and so we will see a play that is a product of this pro project, yeah. um, and that's on Tuesday, I believe? It's Monday night. Monday night, sorry. So Monday night, the play, as part of General Council plenary session. Yes. And what was the process like of putting together a play to represent all these stories? It was incredible. Yeah. All the words of the play have been written by people of the United Church who have contributed to the Iridesc project. Mm -hmm. So said another way, um, we who were working on the play, we didn't write one word of this play. Mm -hmm. this, this emerged from our church, which is amazing, right? So all of the, um, the memories, the testimonials, the histories, the reflections that are shared um, came out of this process. Mm -hmm. So collecting them was, was hard because there's so many things that people shared and wanted to, wanted to share and that are so important to hear, right? So um, going through the stories time and again, um, kind of distilling that wisdom, um, hopefully, <laughs> um, and kind of bringing stories to light that would open up more room for conversation. Mm -hmm. That was really what we were hoping to achieve. So nothing that is going to be too shocking or too... Um, to um, you know, closing or closing off, but really something that will invite people to talk more, uh, remember themselves, and and also be open to accompanying people through that sort of remembering and acknowledging process. And that's a, a big task, creating space yeah. for those types of conversations and that type of vulnerability to emerge. And and what's being shared at this general council is a testament to the spaces that Iridesc has created in in many places across our church over the past few years and will hopefully continue to yeah so i want to thank you so much for joining me today uh as aaron mentioned monday evening the Iridesc play will be presented aaron earlier today presented a workshop as part of the festival of faith and you'll be at general council for the whole week I will. We'll be here all week. So if you see Aaron, please feel free to, you know, invite a conversation and find out more about Iridesc. And we look forward to sharing more stories throughout the week. Take care. <laughs>